Torsades to points is a form of polymorphic ventricular tachycardia characterized by a distinct electrocardiographic pattern. This cardiac arrhythmia is uncommon but carries a high risk of fatality. It is responsible for approximately 5% of the 300,000 annual sudden cardiac deaths in the United States. ECG Characteristics of Torsades to Points Torsades to Points presents as oscillatory changes in the amplitude of the QRS complexes on the electrocardiogram, creating a twisting pattern around the isoelectric line. These variations occur gradually and are often initiated by a premature ventricular contraction during the T-wave repolarization phase of the previous cardiac cycle, referred to as the R on T phenomenon. Abnormal TU waveforms may also appear on the electrocardiogram prior to the onset of the arrhythmia. QD prolongation and torsades to points. The condition is strongly associated with a prolonged QD interval, which can significantly elevate the risk of torsades to points. A corrected QD interval, QTC, exceeding 500 milliseconds is linked to a tuto threefold increase in risk. QD prolongation may arise from congenital or acquired factors, with drug-related causes being the most frequent in acquired cases. Causes of torsades to points. The causes of torsades to points can be broadly classified as congenital or acquired. Congenital causes include genetic syndromes such as Jervil and Lang-Nielsen syndrome, often associated with congenital deafness, and Romano Ward syndrome. Acquired causes are primarily related to medications and other modifiable risk factors. Numerous drugs, including antiarrhythmics, antipsychotics, antiemetics, antifungals, and antimicrobials have been implicated in QD interval prolongation. Substances that reduce hepatic metabolism of these medications may further increase the risk. Electrolyte imbalances, such as hypokalemia, hypomagnesemia, and hypocalcemia are additional contributing factors. Other risk factors include older age, female gender, bradycardia, structural heart disease, diuretic use, diarrhea, malnutrition, and chronic alcohol use. Symptoms of torsades to points. Approximately half of affected individuals are asymptomatic. For those with symptoms, the most common presentations include syncope, palpitations, and dizziness. In up to 10% of cases, the initial manifestation is sudden cardiac death. Treatment of torsades to points. Management of torsades to points includes addressing underlying risk factors and providing acute care for symptomatic patients. Preventive measures involve discontinuing QD prolonging medications and correcting electrolyte abnormalities, including low potassium, magnesium, and calcium levels. Acute management depends on the patient's hemodynamic status. For unstable patients, immediate electrical cardioversion is recommended. Synchronized cardioversion is used if a pulse is present, whereas unsynchronized defibrillation is required for pulseless patients. Intravenous magnesium sulfate is the first-line pharmacologic treatment. The initial dose is 2 grams administered slowly, followed by a continuous infusion to maintain magnesium levels above 2 millimoles per liter. Additional measures include correcting hypokalemia, to maintain serum potassium levels between 4.5 and 5 millimoles per liter and increasing the heart rate in cases of recurrent arrhythmias. Isoproterenol infusion may be considered unless contraindicated, and overdrive pacing can be utilized for refractory or recurrent episodes. Prognosis Prognosis varies depending on the underlying cause. Without treatment, Congenital long QD syndromes have a five-year mortality exceeding 50%, which can be significantly reduced with appropriate interventions. In cases of acquired long QD syndrome, outcomes are favorable when the triggering factors are promptly identified and addressed. Thank you for watching. 
please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.